What's going on, Mad Flavor TV? Malik is here, and I'm in Atlanta right now. I got something real special for you guys. I have business mogul and entrepreneur, Damon D.C. Cobbs, and Mr. Kevin Ray with me right now. How you guys doing? Great, 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 great. Great. Got to be a good day because we talking about the launch of V Live America TV. I mean, with how are you feeling right now, knowing that that your 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 dream and what you what you set out is in fruition. It's about to happen. Man, we're feeling like a lion. <laughs> right. We're feeling like a lion right now, man. This is a long time coming. Uh, we've been preparing this for a while now, and it's. Uh, we're glad it's able. We're finally able to make this appear. You know, and let the uh, let the world know what we got going on. Kevin, how you feel? Like you said, a beast. <laughs> In other words, a lion. Um, this is almost a vision coming true, and today makes it a real vision and, and real truth today. Sitting in front of a microphone for my first time, in front of a camera, it's real. Right. Now I said, when I introduced you, I said business mogul and entrepreneur. And one thing we know about uh, anyone that's in business, you all, always want to diversify and get into other things. So you got 10 franchises that are very successful. Um, and now you are getting in the TV. Why, why, why did you make this move? Why was it important to do it? Well, you know, uh, V Live America means just that, V Live America. Uh, I'm also going to be uh, have a clothing line. I'm starting um, now. We have the uh, we're about to start the V Live dot TV network. Uh, I'm also going to get into a little bit more things. It's going to be more than just about the club now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and venture out. Uh, just let everybody know we're just not. What about the strip club? It's going to be a whole umbrella of everything now. So we're just kind of venturing out now. Okay. So let's let's talk about the the club just for a second because um, you know they say where you start is not necessarily where you finish, but the club itself, you know, there's not many um, African American men that are running these clubs, and you were the first and and very successful at it. You know, people want to think because they see who's working in the club and they see what's in there that that's who owns it. But you actually own, run, manage, and everything. How did you even get in, into that business? It's like, I feel like that's part of that good old boy network that they don't necessarily want a black man to get into. So how did, was you able to get into that? Well, it was all about connections. Everyone, uh, the first one was, was uh, easy to start, actually. Uh, and then it just kind of ventured off from there. When you have one thing successful, it's just your, your job just to, to try to venture off and just keep it up. So I had a vision of just, just keeping it going, and, uh, you know, that's just what I did. Okay. Now, Kevin, they tell me that V Live America TV was actually something that your brainchild and you, you brought it to Damon. So I'm going to pass the mic to you because I don't want to keep crossing over my man, you know. Um, tell us about, you know, the, the vision and what V Live America TV is all about. The vision was basically just to help the culture. Um, we've been doing it in the clubs for over 10 years now, and which is breaking artists, breaking music. That's what the nightclub is for. Um, I just seen it bigger, and everybody's not accessible to the nightclub. Everybody doesn't go to the nightclub, so why not bring the nightclub to them and then help them and then bring them into people's homes? that was the real vision so it's really all about helping and helping the people that we can't see the people we see that's easy the people we can't see is who we're trying to help so it, it it's it's really all about embracing our culture and um you know my my brother nipsey hustle said it cut out the middleman and with our partner nick being the internet and the cloud we cutting out the middleman and we have room to help up and coming entertainers make money and show them how to monetize and actually capitalize off of all their content. So in a nutshell, that is the vision right there. And when you talk about that vision, um, just reading what you guys are doing, you're taking it back to, you know, those days where independent artists could showcase what they could do when you had stuff like Big Tigger in the Basement and Yo MTV Raps and all of that, where actually those artists was able to, they, that's how we were introduced to a lot of them. 
Um, and so, you know, what do you think happened? Why don't we have record pool meetings and all of those things that we used to have? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I mean, there's a little gray in there. I, I hope I'm not dating myself. I'm, you know, some gray in there. That's, that's experience. We call that salt and pepper. Uh, but no, I mean, what happened to that? Because, you know, I've, I've been doing this show for a couple decades, and we used to show music videos, and then all of a sudden, it was hard. You know, we reported our playlists, and everything was flowing, and then it stopped. What do you think happened? This happened. The phone happened. It, um, there's no more TV. It's all on the phone now. You know, so we're trying to bring back running home for 8 o'clock to watch your favorite show. You know, we're trying to bring back when you heard a, a song on the radio, you ran home to BET or MTV to watch it. So we're just, we're bringing back the old school with the uh, new school technology. Damon, tell us a little bit about what people are going to see on this TV network. Man, they're going to um, watch a lot of people that they didn't think was going to, was going to become successful go straight to the top. Um, we have access to so many artists, uh, so much content. Uh, this is actually going to be a breeze. Uh, you know, once it catch on, it's going to be like, you know, I got a fire, like, catch on and just... It's going to be like that, man. We're already, we're already getting we're already getting so many um, uh, calls and, and DMs and text messages right now, man. So it's going to be a breeze. All right. So I know y'all out there. I know what you're thinking. Pipe down. You want to know you an artist. How can you get your content on this network? So I got the I got the men with us right now, Damon. How can artists out there across the country get their stuff on your network? Kevin can tell you a little bit faster. Okay, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of Kevin. Uh, we'll be doing a call for content um, in November. It, it'll be on our website, which is uh, vliveamerica.tv, and it also will be going viral on every Instagram, Facebook platform. Um, yeah, just it'll be in your face like Instagram. You don't know how Instagram was promoted. That's just how this network would be. So I'm assuming that's everybody. That's, you know, if I do Afro beats or Latin beats, it's, all, it's everybody? All right, okay. Even short films, uh, producers, directors, entertainment in general. You know, we're just using music as, as the launch, but it's for just, it's entertainment. It's a content-based network. Okay. So if I am a producer as well, and I have a show, an idea, or I used to do a podcast on YouTube, any of that, come through. If you're a writer, come through. If you have any content, ideas, um, anything, anything that can be visual, come through, submit. And if not, just come watch. Nice, nice. So I did check out some of it. I checked out this documentary. Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> y'all saw his eyes. I mean, y'all gonna, gonna have to watch for yourself, but I, I saw the documentary and uh, all I can say is uh, it was fire, it was fire. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was <laughs> no, I mean, but you're giving us a little bit of everything, and you and you're actually bringing us into into your life and, and your experiences with that. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the documentary and, and maybe some of the shows that that, that are going to help launch those uh, the six channels on the on the streaming network? Well, you know, everybody love uh, love the club uh, uh, views, man. You know, you know everybody does. You know, men, women, uh, children try to sneak and look. You got to block them out, man. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna take that excitement, you know, and put it into this music uh, and everything. And you know, just we're gonna pass the the torch to the music right now. Right. I mean, let, and let's be real. You know, what I mean, it's it, let's be real because I've seen. Um, a few shows that are in development. I even hear BET is doing a show talking about, you know, following women in the club or, or whatever. The Hustlers movie. So, you know, things that's kind of taboo. I mean, it's, it's open now, right? I mean, that's what technology and that's what the internet does. It, it opens us up to, to everything and every platform. Yes, it's open now. Uh, uh, you know, the cat's out the bag, uh, <laughs> you know. You know it, People used to be shy about the, you know, about the strip club scene, but now, you know, it's open. You know, it's right. one of the main, uh, you know, main thing for a lot of people. That if you're in this bubble, uh, you know, it's 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 popping. It's popping, man. Right. Well, I want to say congratulations to you guys. You know, I this is this is 
something that I know for me is a long time coming, well overdue, and I'm glad that you guys are doing this. Everybody, V Live America TV, make sure you check it out. If you got content, hit these fellas up. If you're a producer, hit these fellas up. If you can write, hit these fellas up. Make sure you can write, though. You know, make sure you can write. Don't be playing. <laughs> Don't be playing. <laughs> <laughs> but hit them up. Congratulations again. Mad Flavor TV, don't go anywhere.